हेलो एवरीवन लेट अस सोल्व टुडे इज डेली चैलेंज और आज का हमारा चैलेंज है ऐड वन रो टू ट्री तो uh, समझते हैं इस क्वेश्चन में हमें क्या दिया है हमें एक रूट दिया है ऑफ अ बाइनरी ट्री और दो इंटीजर्स दिए हैं वाल और डेप्थ ओके okay? और हमको एक रो ऑफ नोट्स ऐड करनी है रिमेंबर क्या ऐड करना है रो ऑफ नोट्स विद द वैल्यू वाल एट द गिवन डेप्थ और तो रो ऐड करनी है नोट्स की उनकी वैल्यू सेम रहेगी पर हमको एक डेप्थ दी है उस पर जा कर के मुझे रो ऐड करनी है किसकी इन नोड्स की ठीक है जिनकी वैल्यू वाल के बराबर होगी नाउ नोट दैट द रूट नोड इज एट डेप्थ वन ठीक है तो रूट कौन सी डेप्थ पे है वन पे है एंड द एडिंग रूल इज अगर डेप्थ का जैसे हमको बता रखा है डेप्थ क्या है ठीक है तो हमको क्या करना है हर नॉट नल ट्री नोड करेंट के लिए कौन सी डेप्थ पे जाना है डेप्थ माइनस वन पे जाना है और वहाँ पे जाके दो ट्री नोड्स क्रिएट करनी है ठीक है विद वैल्यू वाल एज करेंट लेफ्ट सब ट्री रूट एंड राइट सब ट्री रूट ओके एंड द करेंट्स ओरिजिनल लेफ्ट सब ट्री शुड बी द लेफ्ट सब ट्री ऑफ द न्यू लेफ्ट सब ट्री रूट एंड करेंट्स ओरिजिनल राइट सब ट्री शुड बी द राइट सब ट्री ऑफ द न्यू सब न्यू राइट सब ट्री रूट ओके यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस फिर हमें बोला है कि इफ डेप्थ इज वन राइट दैट मीन्स देर इज नो डेप्थ तो वन डेप्थ पे तो रूट ही है डेप्थ माइनस वन पे जाओगे तो कहाँ रह गई डेप्थ है ना क्योंकि रूट ही डेप्थ वन होता है तो हमें क्या करना है हमें इस पर्टिकुलर वाल को एज रूट ऐड कर देना है और क्या करना है जो नई रूट बनेगी उसका लेफ्ट सब ट्री बना देना मान लो मुझे एक डेप्थ दी है मान लो ऐसे कुछ ट्री था ठीक है मान लो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव अब मुझे एक सिक्स ऐड करना है तो मुझे क्या करना है सिक्स मैं यहाँ पे बनाऊंगी न्यू नोड और न्यू नोड के लेफ्ट सब ट्री में मैं क्या कर दूंगी पूरा जो अपना ट्री है राइट जो रूट है वो वाला पार्ट इधर दे दूंगी सो दिस इज वॉट इज मैंशन हेयर कि हमको क्या करना है एक ट्री नोड बनाना है वाल वैल्यू से एज द न्यू रूट ऑफ द होल ओरिजिनल ट्री एंड द ओरिजिनल ट्री इज द न्यू रूट लेफ्ट सब ट्री ठीक है आई होप सो दिस इज काइंड ऑफ एन एच केस इसको एक्सप्लिसिटली हैंडल करना पड़ेगा बट लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन राइट अब ये यहाँ क्या कहना चाह रहे हैं सो लेट एस सी थ्रू एग्जाम्पल्स हमको एक एट री दिया है फोर टू सिक्स थ्री वन एंड फाइव अब मैंने कहा कि यहाँ पे वैल्यू वन होनी चाहिए ठीक है वैल्यू इज वन एंड द डेप्थ इज वॉट टू तो टू डेप्थ पे जाओ सो वेयर इज टू डेप्थ दिस इज डेप्थ इक्वल टू वन दिस इज डेप्थ इक्वल टू टू राइट सो इस टू डेप्थ पे जाओ और क्या करो रो ऐड करो इसकी नोड्स की तो सी यहाँ पे हमें क्या करना है अब एक पर्टिकुलर लेवल पे कुछ नंबर ऑफ नोड्स हो सकते हैं राइट right? तो हमको उतने ही नंबर ऑफ नोड्स क्या करने ऐड करने तो यहाँ कितने नोड्स हैं टू नोड्स हैं तो वी विल क्रिएट टू न्यू नोड्स ठीक है एक लेफ्ट के लिए एक राइट right के लिए अब क्या करना है ये जो है पार्ट राइट दिस इज दी लेफ्ट सब ट्री वट वी हैव टू डू इज वी विल क्रिएट अ न्यू नोड हियर और ये न्यू नोड तुम्हारे जो रूट है उसका क्या होगा लेफ्ट चाइल्ड और इस न्यू नोड के लेफ्ट का चाइल्ड होगा ये वाला लेफ्ट सब ट्री ओके ये लेफ्ट में होगा कम्प्लीटली इन दी लेफ्ट सिमिलरली यू विल गो एंड क्रिएट अ न्यू नोड हियर ठीक है विद द सेम वैल्यू वन और ये क्या होगा राइट right चाइल्ड होगा फोर का ठीक है फोर नोड का एंड देन वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू मेक द राइट चाइल्ड ऑफ दिस नोड द राइट सब ट्री ऑफ द दिस नोड ओके तो ये राइट right सब ट्री हमने इसके राइट right में डाल दिया और यहाँ पे लेफ्ट में जोड़ कर ये वाली नोड लेफ्ट सब ट्री यहाँ पर डाल दिया ठीक है तो कैसा बन जाएगा ऐसा बनेगा कि ये फोर दिया है वन आ गया वन आ गया और वन के लेफ्ट में सो दिस इज वॉट्स मैंशन ठीक है करेंट का जो ओरिजिनल लेफ्ट सब ट्री है वो ही लेफ्ट सब ट्री बनना चाहिए न्यू लेफ्ट सब ट्री रूट का ठीक है तो ये न्यू लेफ्ट सब ट्री रूट है और इसका लेफ्ट में क्या है जो हमारा ओरिजिनल लेफ्ट सब ट्री था सिमिलरली राइट right में भी क्या करना है ओरिजिनल जो राइट right सब ट्री है इट शुड बी दी राइट सब ट्री ऑफ दी तो न्यू राइट सब ट्री रूट ठीक है तो ये है न्यू राइट सब ट्री रूट ठीक है ये न्यू राइट सब ट्री है अब मैंने क्या किया इससे लिंक कर दिया ओरिजिनल राइट सब ट्री कहाँ पर इसी के राइट right में ठीक है तो इसके ही राइट right में यहाँ पर ओरिजिनल सब ट्री एड कर दिया सो लेटस्ट टेक अनदर एग्जाम्पल 
अब जैसे यहाँ पर ये क्वेश्चन ये दिया हुआ है ठीक है अब वॉट इज़ दी डेप्थ दे आर आस्किंग यू टू एड दी वैल्यूज एट थ्री तो दिस इज डेप्थ लेवल वन डेप्थ लेवल टू डेप्थ लेवल थ्री ओके सो दिस इज दी डेप्थ लेवल थ्री वॉन्ट टू दिस डेप्थ फाइंड आउट वॉट आर दी नंबर ऑफ नोट्स यू हैव टू यू कैन सी योर राइट ना एज सुन इज यू नो टू यू हैव टू आर टू नोट्स राइट सो वॉट यू विल डू यू विल क्रिएट दीज टू नोट्स योर राइट सो वन विल विल क्रिएट लाइक दिस अनदर वन लाइक दिस ओके ना वॉट यू हैव टू डू अगेन एज पर द क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू टेक द लेफ्ट रूट राइट दिस इज द न्यू वन लिंक इट टू दी um this two node value and then link it to the left subtree right link it to the left subtree so left subtree happens to be a leaf node that is 3 here similarly go on to the right create a new node link it to the new right subtree and link the new right subtree to the original right subtree as its right chain so you will get this is structure right so this is the now Uh, this is the tree you have now okay so i hope now the question is completely clear now let us understand how we will solve this question right so before proceeding i want to take another case right so let's say i'm giving something like this 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now I want to go at depth three in this particular tree, and I have to add a new row. Okay, and let's say the val is one again. Okay, so how will this tree now look like? So, what is the depth? Depth is three. So this is depth equal to one. Depth equal to two. Depth equal to three. So we have to go here. So I can see there are four nodes. Right, so there are how many nodes? Four nodes. So how many new nodes I am going to create? Four new nodes I am going to create. Okay, and then I will do the similar thing here. Right. So here I'll create one. Okay. So above this level, right? So this node I will create. I will link um, these two nodes like this, and this new um, node, right? New left subtree root. is going to point to the original left subtree so like this okay similarly we'll create one here and this will now be the right child and of this the right child will be this okay similarly we'll do it here okay and similar thing we'll do here now let me draw this tree again what will i get i'll have now i will have one here okay now i will have one here now i will have one here now i will have one here so you can see the this particular level hasn't actually changed right so there are four nodes and this is what the, it is looking like now let us see now we have to put the right child of this root right as for the left subtree that i had here similarly of this the right i have to create okay 5 10 11 similarly of this the left would be 6 And twelve and thirteen, and of this the right would be seven, seven, and fourteen and fifteen. So this is the tree that you're going to get. Now, so this is like this is just to make a pathway to the solution. Okay, so I hope now you get it right. Okay, now let us try and develop an approach from here. so as you can see what we are doing is we are actually um doing a level order traversal kind of right because i have to add it at a particular level i'm given the depth right and i have to go to the go to that depth and take as many nodes are present there and create those many new nodes right and link it in this pattern right in this way so what i'm essentially doing here is a level order traversal so that is what we have to do right so this is the pathway this is the this diagram was the pathway to the answer okay or the approach that we are going to use so we are going to use level order traversal because it's uh, of much importance to us to go to that particular level right and take as many nodes are there how are you going to know how many nodes are present there 
obviously using level order traversal so just like we do it in level order traversal right see level order traversal can be done in like two fashion it's essentially level order traversal but uh, we are going to choose the second one because what we want is we want the number of nodes is well right if i'm standing at this level i should have all these four nodes at hand okay so um we'll see it in the code okay don't worry all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to start first we'll take make the queue right so we know first of all what is level order traversal so in level order traversal we go level by level in our binary tree then what we have to do is like how do we do level order traversal right so we have to use a queue right so queue data structure is used to do a level order traversal just to give you a gist quickly what is a level order traversal let's say i have a tree like this uh, okay there's a three node four and five now i want to traverse it according to its levels right so i'll make a queue and my queue is initially going to have this one node here then what i'll do is i'll go and see inside of my queue right now what is the size of my queue it's one so i'm going to iterate one number of times right and i'm going to pop from queue so i'll come here i'll say okay one is present pop this and of one take the left and right child and push it inside of the queue so what you will do take the left child push it in the queue take the right child and push it in the queue all right then you'll go into another iteration and you will now see what is the size of the queue right so the size of the queue is now two two right because you have two nodes inside of the queue so i have to iterate how many times in the queue two times right so i'll iterate two times in the queue oh it's not you like yeah we will pop two times from the queue now because i know this is of a particular level so we've got one then now we have two comma three so let us say we are storing it in vectors okay or arrays so now i'll go and i'll say pop this and of this when you pop this you have to uh, push the left and the right child of this node here right uh, let us take six and seven here now when you are popping this push the left child and the right child of this node similarly go and pop the uh, front from the queue so you're going to get three right so two comma three are going to get stored here so how many number of times you have iterated two right because see q is not empty now right q is not empty but you were sure that the uh, size of the q when uh, i again came to iterate was two so i know these two are my um uh, let's say this is depth one and this is depth two so depth at depth two these two nodes are present okay so we got two three out now um of three right after popping three we have to push the left and right shield of three here so we'll get six and seven now again you'll go and iterate again because two iterations have completed and you'll go and iterate again and see if, uh, what is the size of the queue now it the size is what four right so now you have to pop how many times four number of times to get that particular level now what level are you going to get uh, you're going to get the level at depth three okay so you'll start popping obviously four doesn't have any children so you will not push anything similarly five similarly for six similarly for seven so you will get four five six seven so this is how you do a level or a traversal in a tree right so this is essentially what we have to do we have to use a queue and do a level order traversal this is the second type of way that you do level order traversal okay so let's say if you just want to get these values as one two three four five six seven just like this right in a, in a sequence then you don't essentially need to see the size of the queue and iterate you can simply go to the left and to the right just like we do in our dfs kind of traversal but it's because you're using a queue it's essentially level order traversal but here we wanted separate levels right we wanted to store it in arrays so we had to take the size right so size we are taking to know okay how many nodes are present there okay so that is uh, why i said we are going to use second type of level order traversal here okay where we take the size and uh, we take what are the number or the um, uh, number of nodes present at that particular level because that's of importance to us okay so i hope this is clear now um this is what we are going to do we are going to now um we'll take a count variable right so each time we are iterating we'll increment the count so to know which depth we are standing at so initially count will be one and then we will keep going so one means this level right then um here we wanted to go at depth three so we'll go at 
तो ओ सॉरी आई एम राइटिंग देयर ऑलरेट ऑलरेट अ सी हर ओके सो दिस वाज टी इक्वल टू वन टी इक्वल टू टू एंड दिस वाज डी इक्वल टू थ्री ओके ओके एंड वेरी सॉरी या ऑलरेट नाउ वील डू अ लेवल ऑर्डर ट्रेवर्सल सो वील गो एंड चेक दिस obviously this level is not of any use to us we'll go and check this is this level in of any use to us no we'll go at this level okay this level is of use to us right because it has the depth 3 now according to this level what we are going to do is we're going to iterate in this level right we're going to iterate in this level how many how many times am i going to iterate two times because i have two nodes here and then what i will do is as soon as i go to a particular node right i'll create the left as well as the right child then and there now how am i going to access this particular level because see i have to create how many nodes right i have to create two nodes right here right i have to link it to this particular node right so what i'll do is i'll go to this depth right count minus 1 okay because uh, from this node i have to create links right so from this node only i can create the links so i have to go where depth minus 1 right not uh, this particular level so as soon as i come to this level all right what i have to do is for this level right i have to add a new row so i have to create a left node and create a right node so the left node obviously values we know so at this particular for this particular node we're going to create two new nodes okay for the left side and for the right side and then what we will do is we will say this particular value let's say this is the current node right this is the current node so current of left will become this new node right so uh, this is the left node right so this left node will become the current of left similarly current of right would be this particular node now before that what we have to do is we have to link this node to the left of the current original left of the current okay so what we'll say let's say this is the new node a new node should be a new node of left should be equal to current of left and similarly new node of uh, right is going to be equal to current of right so this is new node 1 this is new node 2 okay so this is the left this is the right okay now um, after we are done with this what we have to do we have to create the link between this particular node and this node so i'll say current of left now current of left is this particular node now new node right and current of right is this particular node now uh, which is the right new node okay so this way we'll create the connection and this we will do for all the nodes in that particular level for example here uh, i had to add the values at this particular level right so what i will say i will go at this particular level right depth minus 1 here the depth was what 3 so this is depth 1 this is depth 2 okay now i'll go to depth 2 right i'll check if my count is equal to depth minus 1 i'll go to this level and what i will do again i will again create for this particular node so first iteration would be for this right i'll create the left and the right new nodes and then as we did here right as we did here that we will do here right so this type of connection will be made similarly this type of connection will be made here and then in the second iteration i know i have three and of three i'll again create left and right nodes and then i can create the connections as i mentioned here okay so this is how we have to like approach the question i hope now the approach is also kind of clear uh, now let us go ahead and see the code for this so here's the code so uh, let us see okay now as mentioned if um, the depth is 1 which means you have to add the root so for the root the criteria is only to add um, the whole tree towards the left as the left child of the um, new node that you will make so first you'll create the new node and the new node of left is going to be the root okay so the whole subtree is going to become the left subtree of the new node right and then from here only we can return new node So this is for um, edge case. That is, if we have to add that new node as a um, root, okay. Otherwise, we have to go with DFS traversal, make the queue, push the uh, root in the queue, take count as zero, right? So count will become one here after we do plus plus, or you can take it as one. And after uh, you are done with these iterations, you can uh, make it plus plus, okay. All right. So now. 
what we will do as mentioned take the size right so we have to take the size of the queue because we want to know how many nodes are present in that level right then we'll start iterating for all these nodes right we'll iterate these many number of times and number of times and then we'll take the current as the front of the queue and pop it now let's say if my count is not equal to depth minus one that is this is not the level i have not reached the level yet where i have to add the row so in that case you have to keep doing a bfs traversal right so what you will say you will check if the left node exists push it in the queue if the right node exists then push it in the queue so this is what you have to do if count is not like if you're not at that particular level right so that uh, part of the tree you do not have to touch otherwise as soon as this condition becomes true you have to perform this right so as mentioned there we have to create two nodes left node and right node so these are the two new nodes we have we are creating this is for the left side and this is for the right side and then what we are doing uh, with the val value we are creating these nodes and then we are saying that left node of left right so the for the new node right left new node we have to link it to the original left subtree as its left child right and then of the current node the left would become this new node right left node all right similarly for the right side you have to make right node of right equal to current of right right so take for the new right node that you have created you have to link it to the um, current like the original right subtree and then you have to uh, make the current of right point to the new right node okay so this is how you have to uh, do this question and then you can simply return the root after making these changes right so i hope now the code is also clear so let us discuss the time and space complexity here so the time complexity is going to be big o of n and the space complexity is going to be big o of n as well so time complexity big o of n uh, uh, as you know we are doing a bfs traversal right and the space complexity is going to be big o of n um, as we are using a q data structure here right so i hope now the question is clear